I would say I'm a minimalist, or at least that I'm very intentional with the things that I bring into our house. And babies need a bunch of stuff. Let's go through some of the baby shower stuff and I'll tell you why I chose it. Hey guys, my name is Shayla, welcome to my channel. I started this channel traveling full time. Now I'm pregnant, I'm talking about all the pregnancy things. One time I didn't show my belly and somebody was like, whoa, where's your belly? So I'm 31 weeks right now. Whenever I see other people trying to get up off the floor or like leg on their belly, I'm like, ooh, oh, you're not pregnant. I'm a little bit granola. I'm reading all the natural things for birth. I also just like to tell stories about the insanity that pregnancy is. Sometimes my boyfriend's dad doesn't watch my videos because he's like, what was that? Hemorrhoids in pregnancy, it's a thing. People need to know this. If you're into any of that, please subscribe. Also, welcome to my living room. I usually do these vlogs up in baby's room, but to be 100% honest, all this stuff was downstairs and I thought it was easier to bring my camera down than to haul all of that up. So here we are, the lighting's gonna be a little wonky. We're just gonna roll with it. Anyway, I had my first baby shower this weekend when it started to be like, we need to start planning your shower. That's like third trimester stuff. It's the third tri trimester. Right now I'm like, I have nine weeks. If you watch any of my travel vlogs, you'll see that I just like wing it all the time. And I just adapt and it's all fine. And I don't like research and decisions. So like trying to decide what to put on a registry has been so difficult. If you want to see my registry, I will link it below so that you can get some ideas because the things that I did think were important are those. I didn't want to make my baby shower a big deal. My sister nailed it. When I was there, I was like, this is all so beautiful and you're all here to support me and just love me and I was like so emotional. Anyway, it was great. Somebody asked if I could do a baby shower haul. I've never done a haul before. All of these things will be linked below. I would say I'm a minimalist, or at least that I'm very intentional with the things that I bring into our house. We just moved into this house. Do we need this or do we want this? And sometimes there's too much stuff and I'll just make a Goodwill box and just get it out of here. Babies need a bunch of stuff. And they say for baby shower, you want to not just like infant stages, you wanna do like first or second year and it's just, there's a lot. Research and decisions are everything that I have to do. I was like, Seth, please just choose a car seat because I know that they're all gonna be great and I can't. And he chose one that was like the best one that you could get. Let's go through some of the baby shower stuff and I'll tell you why I chose it. First things first, Amber put on the invitation, please bring a book instead of a card. Cards are expensive these days, so basically a book was like the same price as a card. My friend did it and that's kind of where I got the idea. I don't know if that's also where she got the idea. So we got all of these books. What I thought was so cool is that these are like classics. Like these are books that I read. So I'm so excited to have them to read to my baby. My friend's husband makes this book. It's about his, their dog and the adventures that the dog goes on. So cool. There's so many fun books I'm really excited about and I can't believe how many I've got. we've gotten already. It's amazing. Love this. It's a baby sign language book. Honestly, this is to teach me the sign language and then I'll teach baby and then they can tell me what they need. I also put a few Dr. Seuss in Spanish books on my registry because I personally love Spanish and I would love to start teaching Spanish to them like super early. The other thing that I put on my registry was please, 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 if you find any of this stuff secondhand, please get it because I think it's crazy. So many babies get brand new things because they're brand new humans. What happens to all the other stuff? I think people feel weird about that, but I, I, Hope that people do that. The other thing that people feel worried about that I don't think they should, freaking gift cards. Yes, please. I don't know the things that I need. And so to get a gift card is like, it's like a little bit of insurance. These are so cute. And I love that they're gender neutral because baby boy can wear this, baby girl can wear this. This is great. Some people love the very pink and blue. More power to you. That's great. It's just a choice. I absolutely love these little hedgehogs. This to me kind of makes it real. Like I hold this and I'm like, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, there's gonna be like a human living in here in, in like nine weeks. <laughs> yep, Beth's brother got us these. I shizzled in my nizzle for Rizzle. If you think I'm cute, you should see my uncle. We're not having twins, but it was just kind of like, oh, are you having a boy or a girl? Thank you, Uncle Drew. I also got decor. Love this. This is gonna go on the shelf and it's gonna be perfect. But also, you can actually see through it. Seth and I love taking photos, so I imagine this is gonna be like a fave. Do you guys use this? Literally called the snot sucker. I put this on the baby registry. Amber said she never used it. You suck the boogers out of their nose. There's a stopper apparently. I'll keep you posted. Okay, then feeding. So this is Haka. Someone told me to get this. This apparently, while baby's feeding on one boob, you squeeze this and suck it to the other boob 
for any letdown so that you don't waste liquid gold. I'll keep you posted. This is to sanitize pumping equipment. Amber was always cleaning her equipment. In fact, I looked up and put on my registry, there's a bottle sanitizer. So it's just like this thing that sits on the countertop and you put all the bottles in it and you put all the caps in it and it just sanitizes it all. That sounds amazing. I'm not gonna show you all of the gifts because some of them are gender specific. And we are sharing that when baby gets here. People recommended thinking about past just the first year. So that's what this is. Tupperware for baby. I have not even thought about what I will feed baby. It's glass because I'm granola. These little spoons, they change color for heat. So the bottom one right there is what happens if they're if it's the food is hot. Amber always just tried it. This big giant spoon. You fill it with baby food and then you squeeze it out and just put it in their mouth. I feel like it'll be so much less mess. When Bennett was born, which is my nephew, I would go and help, I would change him, and I would leave the dispenser open. I don't know, maybe if it has a lid like this, I'm thinking that I'll close the lids. I need this. This one's for the stroller, which is pretty great, or like for the uh, diaper bag or something. My sister was always like, Shayla, you need to buy me new wipes. Got a couple more things. This, at first when I saw this, I was like, this is dumb and totally unnecessary, but it's not. I'm really excited about it. If you wanna wash baby in the sink, or even in the tub, you put this down. I want an adult sized version of this. Let's see if there's a photo. Yeah, they're like, you just wring it out and throw it in the dryer. I also have a tub on my registry because Bennett, my nephew, loved taking baths. So I wanna make that as accessible as possible. Bottles! Seth chose these. I think they're great. I do remember when Bennett was born. You had different flow nipples. We're gonna need that because it's important that dads get to feed baby too. We got a, this is for learning. Remember said these are great when you're doing dishes or you're doing, taking a shower or whatever and baby's big enough to like obviously hold themselves up. They can play in this and then this one turns into a table, play table and then just a regular table that you can put chairs around. So this one is freaking amazing. So it'll be around forever. Super stoked about that. A pack and play. I'm just gonna show a close up of that. It's gonna live down here in the living room. There's a bassinet for newborns so that they can sleep in it. There's a diaper changer to change diapers. An infant bassinet so once they outgrow that newborn napper. And then the toddler play yard so once they're big you need to keep them contained while you're doing something. I always use it at my dad's house when my nephew would need to go to bed. The car seat! I am so grateful for this. This is the car seat that Seth chose that was the number one recommended by Baby List. I had a big dilemma on wanting the four-way where it went from infant all the way to toddler because I was like, okay, great. You get one thing and it lasts you forever. My sister was like, one thing to consider is that those are stationary. Those live in your car. So you and Seth would each need one or you need to keep transporting it where this has got a base that you can click in and out. Because it lives in the car, if baby's sleeping as an infant, you can't just pop the thing out and throw it on the stroller that it comes with. You have to take baby out of it. But with this, it's like, okay, I can just click it out, click it in. We'll use it for the next baby. And then when this baby gets to toddler age, we'll just get a toddler one. That was a dilemma for me. I was like, do I want to buy two different ones or do I want to buy one that's good forever? Hopefully I made the right decision. <laughs> I have a friend who has one that is forever and she's like, it's not that big of a deal to take your baby out. It's fine. We also have a baby monitor that somebody gifted us that is coming and that one I looked up, it has good range and I think you can hook multiple monitors up. So at some point if there are two, you can have both cameras hooked up to one screen so you can see what both babes are doing. There are two things that are on the registry that I um, am geeked about. A Snuggle Me Organic or a Doc Todd or whatever. To me they're all the same but I haven't done my research. Amber had this for Bennett and it was amazing. It's basically like a pillow that goes all the way around that has like a little hammock sling in the middle that baby sleeps in. It was Bennett slept in the middle and because of these pillows on the edges you, you weren't worried about like rolling over on him. He was in one spot and sometimes just like putting your hand on his chest relaxed him and he could fall back to sleep. I don't think they're technically supposed to sleep in it all night. 
But then we also took that and we moved it to the living room or he used it for tummy time when he started that. And it was just so handy that I'm like, I absolutely need one of those. My sister's like the go-to for all of the things that I need to know because first of all, she had him two months early. She didn't have a baby shower, so she just got the essentials. Second of all, she lived in a one bedroom apartment. So there was no space for anything other than the essentials. So when I asked her like, hey, do we need this? She's like my favorite resource because she just used what she had. She was just fine, people. The other thing is a carrier. So the two carriers that I'm in between right now are a Lily Free something. I'll link it below. But it's supposed to keep baby nice and cool. I'm due in May. Spring is here, let's go outside. But I'm gonna wanna just wear baby all the time, whatever we're doing, so I need a comfortable one. Ergo Baby 360, I think, is the other one. I don't know which one I prefer, we'll see. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot this. So. We also got a package personally sent to us from New Zealand and they sent us a bunch of baby clothes that are all blacks. Seth and I lived in New Zealand for two months in a camper van and we were able to go to an all black rugby game and just thought it was the coolest thing. And Johnny sent us all of these baby clothes and I think they're so freaking cute. He also sent us a ton of New Zealand candy. Yes, yes, and yes. I'm so jazzed about that. I was gonna do my video on this ball because you're supposed to be sitting on it to help with your pelvis. But I did learn that if you're sitting on the floor, you should be tilting your hips forward. You wanna kinda arch your back, give your belly as much space as you can instead of sitting back on your tailbone because you want your tailbone to be nice and loose, especially for labor. The other thing that I just got gifted was a pregnancy workout um, guide and a postpartum workout guide. So I will be trying that out. Thank you guys all so much for watching. I hope this was informational and that you got some ideas for your registry. Like I said, I'll link my registry below if you just wanna use that as a guide. That's what I did. I took my friends and I was like, don't need that, I want that, don't need that because she did all the research and I was like, great, I trust you, done. Boom, 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 boom. Thank you guys all so much for watching and I will see you all next week, bye.